Welcome everybody to another Depop Pro tutorial, this time on the Depop's Anatomic Access Tool. Depop is your dedicated veterinary preoperative orthopaedic planning tool. We think that planning all your routine osteotomies with unrivaled precision, be it PPLA, PTLA, CBLA or cranial closing wedge, then you can virtually reconstruct your fractures, templates with total hip or even total knee arthroplasty. Depop has all your precision tools and pixel-free templates in peerless clarity right at your fingertips. Depop is cloud-based and your single subscription allows you to access Depop to plan across all your iOS, Mac and Windows devices with either the Depop app or via your browser for Android access at app.depop-pro.com. To download the app, just head to the website depop-pro.com and click Get Depop. So this is a short video clip to guide you through using the Depop Anatomic Access tool. We're going to be talking about the tool's components, how to control each part, and then show how to apply the tool, in this case to define the proximal anatomic axis of a femur with distal femoral barrels. So why do we need this tool? Well, if we need to determine chorus, transverse bisecting lines and longitudinal bisecting lines, then we need to demarcate lines precisely centered in the medullary cavity of a bone. So the first step We'll go to Tool, top right, to select the tool. So here we go, Menu and Anatomic Access Tool. And how can we move this line? Well, we can move it by its ends, and we can also go to Precision Mode so that we don't obscure the end of the line. Just tap on it to toggle between large and small. And we can also pan the line. Just click on the blue component to move it screen parallel and remember sometimes it's helpful to zoom to expose the blue line further between the green circles next if you see the green guide circles well we can rotate each circle about the center of its adjacent green circle like this rotating about the proximal circle and rotating about the center of the distal circle so what else can we do? Well, we can also change the diameter of each green circle guide as well. So just tap on the control point of each green circle guide or enlarge it if you're on a touch device and you don't wish to obscure the end of the blue dotted line. And each time you do that, it's worth noting that the edge, its opposite edge, always stays in situ. It doesn't move. So we'll see how that's important later on for controlling it. So as with any selected tool or implant in Depop, the tool's highlighted in blue to show it's active. And with that, it also has an information palette here. So we can explore that right now. And with, as with all Depop Pro info palettes, you can move it around the screen to declutter your area of interest. Just click it and drag it to the header, like so. And on our palette, we can also see two percentage points here and here. So these represent the proportions of where the circles lie along the length of the axis. So commonly the used ones uh, and required ones are quarters and thirds. So we can toggle between them in our information palette and we see how they change here on our axis. So we can toggle between those top and bottom there, 25, 50% and the thirds as well, the third and two thirds. So if you need something bespoke, then you can just simply click on the percentages below at the guide one and guide two point, and you can alter those to your uh, your exact requirement. So guide one here, we could perhaps put maybe 29% if we wanted. Just click done, or we can go back and uh, reset it to, to 25%, and you can change those to suit your application. So on the information palette at the bottom there, towards the end, we also have the line length just here. So when we're demarcating axes, and we're not necessarily wanting to be distracted by linear measurements on the screen, but it's sometimes helpful to make reference to one. So for example, the length of the bone that you're applying the axis to, and well, on the information palette here, we can see the length is displayed here, and you can alter it accordingly, and it's adjusted automatically in your information palette. Lastly, we can lock the angle with this toggle right here on our information palette. It basically means you can't pan the line. 
So locking is going to protect and preserve the delicate position of your carefully defined patient's anatomic axes, uh, and you can lengthen and shorten it to intersect with the other axes to determine your chorus. So I can just lock it here. I can't move this at all, but I can click on the end and lengthen to extend it distally and shorten it proximally like so. So let's just review that one more time. We can position the ends freehand to lengthen. Either end, go to precision mode if we need to. We can pan the line. We can move it around the screen by just panning anywhere by selecting the blue line. We can also extend the diameter of the circles. And in doing so, they always rotate about their neighboring green guide circle so and we can also lock the line and by locking the line locking the angle of it it means we can't pan anymore and we can only extend and shorten our axis distally and proximally like so so on to the second part of this video let's apply this anatomic axis tool and let's drill down to see how we can harness these components of the axis tool. So let's go back to our slide. So we're bringing on the axis tool now to determine the proximal femoral anatomic axis. So let's select it. Let's move our palette away to an area and just adjust the image so that we can get a full length Now we're going to define the length from the proximal end of the bone to the distal. So let's toggle off and start proximally. And now as we extend distally, for, con for economy of movement, we're going to be sure that our proximal green guide circle, okay, our proximal green guide circle, the left, if you like, the lateral aspect of it is just going to superimpose on the cortex there, right here. Now we're going to tap the and select the, the distal of the guide circles here and we're going to position it so that its circle edge laterally just superimposes on the cortex like so, on the lateral cortex. So we've got two guide circles with their edges on the lateral cortex. Finally, now we're going to use the precision mode on each circle, each of our guide circles. We'll use that precision mode to superimpose each of them over and entirely across. The bone stock from the iota lateral. So there's the bottom one. And now we can swing in. Note how that lateral edge doesn't move, helpfully stays exactly where it is, and we rotate about our proximal circle, and we can just guide it in so that the circle is neatly superimposed, each of them on our lateral and medial cortex. So one more time from the top, we'll delete it and start again. We'll go to menu, top right, we'll go to tools, down to anatomic axis. And first thing we're going to do is position it proximally. Then we'll extend distally, but as we do so, we're going to make sure that our proximal circle, our proximal guide circle right here, we're going to make sure that the lateral edge of it meets the cortex at the required length of our axis. Next, we can zoom in just for a bit of extra precision, and we can position our distal circle here. So we can swing that in, lateral cortex away from the precision mode. And then finally, what we're going to do is adjust the precision mode to superimpose each guide circle on the medial and lateral cortex. So there's the distal one and the proximal one just here. There we go. So we've gone through the uh, components of the VPOP anatomic axis tool, how to use each one efficiently, precisely, 
and we've covered the application of the tool to define an example and syntaxis of uh, proximal feed. Thank you for your interest. Remember, VPOC is designed by surgeons for surgeons, and you can follow what we're up to on our Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn channels to see how VPOC is assisting our caseload or indeed supporting education courses in universities around the world. You can have all these planning tools and templates in your pocket at your fingertips with a single subscription at app.vpoc-pro.com. Thank you.